There is a new player in this industry that watches over the credit markets. China's Dagong Global Credit Rating has formed a joint venture with the Russians and U.S. to take on the big three, Moody's, Fitch, and S&P. For more on this venture and the credit agencies, agencies in general, we turn to Christopher Whelan, who's the Managing Director and Executive Vice President at Carrington Investments. He joins us now live. Uh, hello, sir, from New York. How are you? And welcome to the show. Let me start by asking you to help our viewers better understand this, this landscape. Explain to us what a, a credit agency is and what they do and sort of why the markets care about them. Well, the credit rating agencies go back about a century, and they started during the period of the great railroads in the United States and similarly in Europe to provide investors with an assessment of whether a company's bonds were good or not. You know, would they repay them? Um, and so from that has grown a whole industry sector of specialty firms and also large rating agencies that follow big companies. They basically try and tell investors if these companies are, are sound, if they're investable, and if it's prudent for an asset manager, for example, to put their clients into their paper. And more importantly, if you loan them money, if you ever get your, your money back, now, there's, um, this, yeah. uh, this, this new company, Dagong, um, this is not the first time that we've heard of new companies being formed in this space. Mm. They're going to take on Moody's, Fitch, and S&P. How much do you yes. know about this company, Dagong, and how big of an impact are they likely to have or not likely to have on the markets? Well, I, I don't know this company well at all. I do know Sean Egan. He's a very good friend. They're a U.S. partner. Uh, I just sold a bank rating agency, and I do know an, an awful lot about this space. And I can tell you it's quite difficult uh, for a new entrant for the simple reason that we have a government-protected monopoly in the United States. Uh, the monopoly is enforced by the Securities and Exchange Commission, who essentially has to judge whether or not a rating agency can get a special status from them. And, you know, frankly, the agency has no competence whatsoever to judge whether or not a rating agency is effective or not, but they still make them get this, this seal of approval. And it's quite costly and quite cumbersome in, uh, to do so. So most of the small firms don't have this special uh, SEC uh, recognition. And I think that was part of the, uh, the, the story I read about this new entrant. They were able to get approved in Europe, but they have yet to win approval from the United States. So it's not too big to fail. It's too small to get approved, so to speak. I want to ask you yes. about the, uh, yes. the, the, the credit ratings agencies the last five years. Most of the blame from the financial crisis has been split between the ratings agencies and the banks and a few politicians. Mm. But the agencies took a big blow on this because they're the ones that rated things AAA or, or AA minus when investors bought them and they ultimately failed because of the collapse in housing. Well, that's, how right. Has, that's right. How has this industry changed since this crisis? Uh, not terribly. I mean, it's more regulated now, and they're, they're enmeshed in a lot of litigation. You know, the, to explain what you were just saying about the ratings agencies and their problems, historically, the ratings agencies followed bonds after they were issued, in other words, in the secondary market. And their activities were judged to be journalistic in nature. They actually have a legal pr protection as journalists uh, under the securities laws in the U.S., um, unfortunately, during the boom, the rating agencies got into bed with the investment bankers and were working in what we call the primary market. And they would say to a company, well, if you do the deal this way, we'll give you a AAA rating. So they were effectively acting as investment bankers. They were in the conference room, and they were getting paid on close. In other words, when the transaction I mean, that, actually came public. So uh, it, that that's was bad. the big conflict. Uh, it is very bad, yes. And they didn't have so, any journalistic protection, by the way, either. So, you know, they've actually not been punished as badly as they could have been. Let's put it that way. I, I've got 25 seconds left. How do we make this industry a little stronger? How do we make it a little better? And how do we regain some of that trust that's been lost by investors who have gotten burned? Well, first and foremost, let's level the playing field and get the SEC out of the business of, of judging rating agencies. And I think, secondly, you want to really focus on disclosure so that the rating agencies and investors have access to the data they need to make a, an investment decision. Chris, Whelan, New York, thank you very much for your time and help explain to us what credit rating agencies really do.